Um, so welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be doing a braid out using the Main Choice products. Yes, I do have a braid out tutorial on my channel already, but it was highly requested for me to do a braid out tutorial using only the Main Choice products. So I did already shampoo and deep condition my hair, and as you can see my hair is divided into four sections, and from there I'm going to divide the bottom section into two sections. And then I'm going to apply about a dollar size amount of the three-in-one conditioner. I actually really love this stuff. It gives my hair great slip. Then I'm going to use my Demi brush and it's very important with a braid out that you make sure your hair is laid very smoothly. That is how you get the perfect braid out. So from there I'm going to take some doesn't get much better than this and I'm going to also apply a generous amount to my hair only because I'm absolutely in love with this product. It smells amazing and it gives my hair that great shine that I've always been looking for. So yeah, after that I'm going to once again rake my fingers through my hair being sure that there isn't any tangles or anything of that sort because the smoother your hair is the better the braid out will come out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and also apply some of the Crystal Orchid Gel. And what this is going to do is it's going to give that hold that we need. Um, it's not going to make it hard or crunchy or anything like that, but it's going to give it a nice shiny hold. That way I can get multiple days out of my braid out. So here's the trick. Once again, as you can see, the way I'm brushing my hair with a Demon brush, I'm making sure that I'm smoothing all of the hairs into the section. That way I have no flyaways, no tangles, anything of that sort, and it is just a smooth braid. So, I am not that great of a braider, I'm not going to lie. I can't corn roll or anything like that. So, you know, don't pay me any mind if it takes me a while to get these braids done. Now, when braiding my hair, I often find that it gets a little tangled or frizzy at the end. So, as you're going to see, I'm going to take the Demon brush and I'm going to run it through it a couple times. Also, this rat tail comb gets all of the tangles out, and I actually learned that off of somebody else's YouTube channel, but it definitely works, and like I said, it gives that smooth braid that you're looking for. Okay, so now I'm not going to add a flexi rod or a perm rod to the end of my hair. What I'm going to do is just take some of the doesn't get much better than this. I'm going to apply it to my fingers and then I'm going to basically wrap my ends around my finger. That way it just gives it like a curl or a hold. Um, I don't want to use the flexi rods. I've never actually used the flexi rods or the perm rods on my braid out. I just find that this way it works easier and because I sleep with this in... I don't want to sleep with a perm rod in my hair. And now I'm going to go to the next section and I'm going to do the exact same thing. First starting out with the 3-in-1. From there I'm going to apply the doesn't get much better than this. And then lastly I'm going to apply the crystal.
guys so once i completely take down all of my braids i'm just going to run my fingers through it and try to rake out the parts with my fingers as much as possible um with braid outs i tend to have a lot of lines still um but i do my best with my hands first to to, to shake them out um i personally 
prefer not to fluff out my braid out too much because in my opinion you get less days of wear out of them. I like to keep my hair in for at least three to four days and I find that the less I separate and the less I pull apart the longer I am able to wear my hair overall. So this is basically the finished product. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I am going to go in and separate the curls so you guys can see how I do do it. Um, but like I said, I really prefer not to uh, separate my curls.